With me, Yanis Tan, the CEO of DefSec Intel Solutions, Supervisory Board of the Defense Estonia Cluster. Um, I mean, drones are cheap to make, relatively. They are ubiquitous. I would have thought that with all the firepower and money that the Baltic states and NATO's got, they could build more than a wall. They could, you know, festoon the place with them. Can you hear me, sir? Yes, yes, hello. Yes, I do hear you. Yes, uh, we have an ambition plan in Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania, Poland and Finland to build a drone wall against hostile drones because nowadays uh, drones flying uh, everywhere in the borders uh, or in the, in the, in the battlefield. Uh, starting from smugglers until spy drones uh, against to uh, like attack drones. So what's the idea here? Because um, the, the drone has become, if you will, uh, the the weapon of choice in many cases. Is that the is that likely to be the case against a Baltic wall, um, or would you be needing more conventional forces, missiles, tanks, and the like? What role would the drone play? Yeah, we actually in Estonia and Baltics, uh, we need also conventional uh, rockets, uh, armored, uh, all that. But uh, war in Ukraine and uh, Russian aggression have showed that uh, drones are very cheap to make and where they are uh, flying everywhere. And uh, especially uh, Iranian Shahed drones, they are very easy to send very far distances with different payloads, which means that we need to have... Uh, means and uh, systems which we can counter them in the same level so that in the cost wise it must be cheap uh, cost efficient and uh, we must be able to uh, take them down uh, before they came to our borders or the moment they cross our uh, borders are and ukraine looking, has showed that there are technologies for that are you looking at them as def i mean all of nato is defensive i get that so let's not get into a, a discussion on the sophistry of that. But are you looking at them if they had to become attack drones to do that as well? We need to detect, detect them as, uh, as far as possible, as early as possible. And uh, then, uh, of course, uh, we need to take them down with different uh, means. We have electronic warfare uh, elements in our drone wall, but we also have uh, kinetic, like drone against drone or even guns. What's the next stage, do you believe, in drone warfare? Because the speed with which it has progressed and advanced during the Ukrainian war uh, is, is has been remarkable. Where does it go next? I think the next is already almost there. So drones are already flying uh, in a silent. So you don't hear anything in the radio frequency in Ukraine. They already have tens of kilometers of Wyatt drones. Right. Uh, and next step is that they will be swarmed drones uh, with uh, with uh, with also right. no no talking to each other very much. So, final question, because I'm just curious. We are a business program. On average, how much does one of these things cost? If I wanted to get a drone up and running, so it could carry, never mind the cost of the payload, the drone itself up, running, flying over. How much would I be looking at? If you're talking about these uh, FPV attack drones, then uh, you can you can get it within a thousand dollars, and wow. they can do the job. If you're talking about Shahed drones, they most likely fifty thousand dollars. Interesting. But currently in NATO, we take them down with uh, million dollar rockets. Oh, that's the point, isn't it? That is exactly the point. If you can take them down, if you can take a yes. fifty thousand dollar drone down. With a five thousand dollar drone, then you're, you're you've got an economic argument. So I'm grateful to you. Very kind. Thank you. Have a good weekend.